Hi, welcome, welcome back to Side Gig Crafts. This is Tanya, my name is Tanya, and I am here to craft and <laughs> hopefully inspire you in your crafting journey. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Today is uh, Let's Do Die Cut Wednesday. Now I'm gonna do something a little different today. I don't have any die cuts cut out, but I do have these papers but I cut some die cuts out of. Now, I wanna do something different. I saw these and thought, what a fun way to, this is me and my daughter years ago, to make a little frame out of this or um, maybe a shaker or something like that. We could put something behind it. I just thought it would make a really fun piece uh, for a journal. And I thought, let's decoupage some and then I actually took one in practice. I did some sewing around it and I thought this would be really, really cool. And I thought, let's put some tissue paper on there and decorate the paper uh, first and then um, see what we can come up with. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to use these die cut leftovers. What do you call them? They're not leftovers, but what, what do you call them? Um, off cuts. I've heard people, I think, call them off cuts. These are the papers you would normally throw away. Yes, those, those papers. So we're gonna use some of this tissue for some of them. And I think that being that Valentine's Day is coming up, Mother's Day and Easter, I think pink and gold is a good option. So we're gonna use some of that to start. I'm gonna put the rest of this back away because it's really pretty. And I hope that the, uh, the shiny isn't gonna bug anybody too much. But we're going to, I'm going to, first, I'm going to flip this over, obviously. But um, just kind of thinking, how much of this do I need? I actually can cut along there and save some of this. We're, I'm going to, trying to work with a smaller section is what I'm trying to do. And since some of these folds are already in the paper, let's just tear it there. So we can use, you know, gift wrap tissue, which is what this is. We can use... Um, napkins. I pulled this one out. I thought this was a lot of fun. A lot of fun colors there. Um, I got some bunnies. We could use those. Uh, so we're, we're just going to play around and, and see what we can come up with. So my thought is, this is a brand new Mod Podge. Not exactly brand new, but you know, it's pretty full. Let's, um, there may be some glitter in this Mod Podge. I'm pretty sure there is. Or maybe it's just particles of paint coming off my little brush thing here. So I have a couple of these little brushes and this one, I didn't clean so well. Not that it matters at this point, but I should get a, let's glue this down. Now this paper, it doesn't really matter which side I use because they're both the same. There's no decoration on either side. I do want to get a wipey thing. A wipey thing. My wipey things are almost gone, the little smell good ones. And then I'll just put, use my Lysol. I'm trying to use things up. Look, I only had one left. Perfect. Oh, two. All right, that'll work. Oh, they smell so good, though. I'm going to have to get some more of these. I think these were from Dollar Store, and they're just, um, like, or Dollar Tree. I think they're, they're kind of citrusy, and they're, they're really actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that after each one because I'm not gonna do this any different. Now I could use, I could use stick glue, I suppose. I could put, you know, paper underneath it would be probably kind of smart. Then I wouldn't have to keep cleaning the glass. And it doesn't matter if the other side gets messy because that is the side we won't see anyway. So we'll just go ahead and do it this way. We'll do it on the paper. How about that? How about that? All right. So I hope everybody's well. Um, I hope you are doing well. And I hope that your family had a wonderful holiday or that you got to spend it with family or people that you care about. We've got New Year's coming up, and I would love to hear in the comments below what your um, what your New Year's goals are for yourself, if you have any. Um, I try to stay away from 
the usual stuff that I'm going to end up failing anyway and make realistic goals for myself for the new year. <laughs> um, like how many videos I want to post or what kind of crafting projects I would like to finish or stuff like that. That's the stuff I like to do. Um, because it's more realistic, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a box that I can check off when I'm done with it. I don't think I've peeled the plies from this one. Uh, let's see if, will washi pull that up? I don't even know. Cause it feels too thick to have been, where's the edge of this? I don't know, let's see if that'll work. Will it? Will it? Won't it? How come it works for everybody else but me? Everybody but me. That's not a song. It's not a song. It is today. It's a song today because I just made it up. All right, did that work? Did that do something? I mean, it tore some paper. Did it pull anything apart? I'm pretty sure this is more than one ply, guys. But maybe it's not. Maybe it is just one ply. I don't know. I can't tell. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pretend like this is one ply because it looks like that's uh, not gonna come apart. So let's try it. All right, we'll just do it. We're just gonna go with it. And if it's too thick, it's too thick because we're gonna sew over it anyway, so. And there's nothing to show underneath it. So that'll be all right. Yeah, some of that paint's coming off my, my glue or my, um, my brush, my silicone brush. We'll just wipe it, get some of that off. It won't, it really won't hurt anything. It won't matter, but. Oh, just because. All right, let's see. I don't really want the texture in there of the side of the napkin, so we'll just go to the middle. There we go. It looks like we're only going to do one more of those. That's fine. We'll have two different versions today. Maybe I'll do some more off screen. I'm going to have to edit this video anyway, so maybe I'll do the other the other napkins off screen and have them for you at the end. Because you guys don't want to hear the sewing machine. Or see me fumble around with it. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. I am not the best sewer, but oh my goodness, you guys. So here I'm sitting here crafting and look what's on my paper. Can you see that? I wish it was a real ladybug, but this is the kind that bites. Yep, this kind bites. These are mean little suckers. And somehow they like to come into my house and I don't know why, but they do. But he's gonna get knocked away from my crafting because those little suckers hurt. They hurt. What are they anyway? They're little beetles. Oh, do you guys hear the dog barking? Okay, so the puppy is downstairs in his kennel. Chloe had to go to the store, so she um, put him in his kennel. Like a good mommy would. And so he's down there barking up a storm. He stops for a few minutes and then he'll start again. Um, he's been doing way better. Today is the fourth day we've had him. And oh my goodness, he's just such a joy. They were playing fetch in the backyard earlier and he's just so happy. So, so happy. And Gretchen and the cats are getting used to him being here. and It's going well. Gretchen's curled up in a little little snoozy ball over here to sleep in. I bought her a new sweater. It's going to match um, Doobie's. Doobie's sweater. They got matching sweaters. 
So I'll be sure to take pictures when, <laughs> when Doobies arrives. Little Doobert. And, um, yeah, they're too cute. So I guess uh, Chloe's telling me that they play a lot when I'm not here. But when I'm here, Gretchen just wants to sit by my side. That's all she wants to do. And doesn't let me out of her sight. Which is sweet. It's my baby. It's my baby. Oops. My my glue paper. Let's fold this and put this one in the trash. I've got plenty more. I could have made it. Stop it. <laughs> the true crafter in me just came out right there. I'm sorry. It's like, oh, I could have made something out of that. Why did I throw it away? Wow. It's just a small piece of glued up messy paper. That's all it is. Don't have to save everything. It's okay. Yep, I'm even throwing that away. Yep, I am. Even though I know that was a big chunk of napkin, but you know what? We're using things up this year and we're doing a good job of it. Yep, we are. We are. We're making pretty things. We're making meaningful things. How about that? We're not just making to make, right? We're making for lots of reasons. What kind of reasons do you guys have? Why do you make, make things? Why do you craft? What does it do for you? I'll tell you, for me, for me, it's an outlet. For me, it's um, using my brain in a different way than I do at work. I uh, am creative. I find ways to create at work, like through, some of you may not know, um, I am a grocery store assistant manager of a grocery store. And so I have to be creative to create at work. So, you know, one of the things we have to do is we have to make displays. Obviously, that has to be appealing to the shopper. It has to look nice and make sense and um, be appealing. Or you might not want to buy it. And it really does make a difference. An ugly display will not get the sales. It, it happens. It's just, it's part of the game. <laughs> it's part of how it works. And um, so it's super important to make those displays nice. Now, and so that they make sense. They have to have signs on them. They have to make sense. People have to know what they're getting, right? And it can't be confusing. It has to make sense. So that's one way I can use my creativity during my day at work. But it's not... It's fulfilling in the way that that's work and that's part of it, but it's not fulfilling to my soul. Um, there's still more and I like to make because that is that fulfilling part. And it makes me happy. So I know this is bunched up in the middle. That's where there's no, there's no center. So that's just the Mod Podge over that center part. And we're going to pull that out of there. So it's okay that it's bunched and we're just going to set this aside to dry and um, do the next one. And then when it's dry, we're gonna take that center out. Oh shoot, I tore it. I need to go a little more gently. Um, and then we're gonna sew it. Well, we aren't gonna sew it, I'm gonna sew it. And actually I don't need to go all the way through the middle. That might be why. Let's just do around the edges. Probably don't need to do the center. That probably just made it worse or harder more difficult. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but there it's there. All right, there we go. So that's one of them, my creative, it's a creative outlet for me that I don't get on the regular, in my regular every day. Um, creating is important to my family. It's um, something that we've all got in us. Um, My dad is a woodworker. He's been a carpenter most of his life. He was an apprentice back in high school when he was a teen. And my brother does amazing leather work, just beautiful leather work. If you get a chance, I'll try to link him in the, um, try to link my brother in the, or put his Instagram information in the um, 
in the description box. If I Hopefully I'll remember. If I don't remember and somebody's interested, please remind me because I want to uh, shout him out since I'm talking about him. Um, I don't think he'll mind at all. He's on Instagram and he's R&D Leather, R.D. Leather, R.D. Leather Work, something like that. And um, he is just phenomenal. And he sells his he sells his leather work, and he's just does beautiful work. Um, he's done does a lot of uh, custom holsters, wallets, book covers. Um, he repairs saddles. I think he may have even built a saddle. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you everything that he does because he just people give him an them They're like, hey, do this for me, and he he gets it done. And he's got this big old huge sewing machine. I'm so jealous of his sewing machine. Oh my gosh, you guys. Not that I'd have a use for it, but um, it's beautiful. This huge industrial sewing machine. And um, he just does beautiful work. He's been, he's, he's done woodwork too, but this is his, I, this is his passion for sure. And he's just, it shows in his work. You'll be, you'll be impressed. So let's see. So my talked about my dad my brother um my mom shows her creativity in the kitchen she's an amazing cook she does catering um my cousin uh does he does uh carving wood carving his sister i don't know if she still does my my cousin she did, uh, used to draw a lot. I don't know if she still does though. I think she went, I, if I remember correctly, she may have gone into um, graphic design or something, but I could be wrong about that. I apologize. I haven't been a very good keeping up with that. Um, my grandmother did oil painting and just about anything really. She was whew, amazing amazing artist she watercolor she did oil painting she did she cooked just huge creativity in my family it just amazes me my uncles dabble um it's just a big it's a big deal for us so we we find ways to create my grandmother's crocheted and quilted so i've learned how to do that from them and sewed, of course. Grandma would sew all of her own clothing as well as grandpa's. See how that can go. And then we'll just sew around it when it dries. I should have probably waited just a little bit longer. Um, let's see if there's something else I can work on while we're waiting for that, besides cleaning my surface, which I need to do. Um, yeah, so the, you know, creating is, is extremely important to me because that's how I've grown up. It's probably why I dabble in so many different things. It's just, it's fun for me. And it's a challenge. There we go. We got that one all cleaned up for next time. Oh, there's the clean one. Now I see it. <laughs> I was looking for the clean one, couldn't find it. But now I got it. So there's that. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do... Ooh, those are my fingers now, too. What else? Let's see. Are these drying up a little bit? Not really. They are, but they aren't. Trying mostly just not to tear what's on the paper already. I just thought these would be fun little windows, you know? Something different. Don't need to necessarily see the design, but whatever I put behind it, it will definitely be to complement what's on the paper. So you want it to be cohesive. You can kind of see the flower there, right? If not, we can go back and we can go back and fix that later. One of these these tissues dried up much faster than the other than the napkin did. And I'm just kind of pushing against that paper because this is really delicate, but it'll rip against that paper instead of pulling it up. 
so that hopefully it'll get more of the design into the tear. If I can think and talk and tear at the same time. Ooh, that one kind of didn't glue down, so we'll be careful with that. Still have to sew it, so that's all right. These might look a little beat up by the time I get to the sewing machine. I'm okay with that too. They'll be cute, grungy. Ah, that one's stuck to my finger. Boy, the dog is not giving up this time. I think he's realizing that I'm still upstairs, that he's not alone. I think he, he might be able to hear me. I'm not sure. He had already stopped barking and um, Chloe asked me to send her a picture of her shopping list that she left on the desk, you know, next to the dog kennel. <laughs> I was like, darn it, he had already stopped. Now I have to go down there. Poor thing, I feel so bad. But he's gotta learn, grandma can't take him out of the kennel. Nope, nope. He's gotta learn, gotta let the baby cry, right? All right, so there we go. This one I'd kind of like to see if I can break out my gold thread, but I don't know. I don't think I have any more. I need to order it, um, which I need to order it anyway. I think I ran out. Oh, I got one more. Let's do this one too. So once these are all dry, I'll go ahead and sew them. And then I'm gonna come back and show you what I wanna do with them. Put them into practice. So I think we can make some cute little pockets for our journals. And yeah, I think it'll be fun. All right, so I will be back. All right, we are back. And I have got, I only did the ones that um, we did together on screen. I didn't do the bunnies yet. But you can see I did the stitching around. I also put some acetate on here. This is just from packaging that I had. And I just cut squares out and sewed it on there. I figured that would be a good way to um, make it a little sturdier, make a really nice window. And so I added acetate to each one as I sewed it. I didn't glue it or anything. I just sewed it on there. Probably be easier to work with if you glued it first, but once that needle catches the first time, it's not too hard to work with. And it actually makes it sturdier. Now, if you didn't don't like the, um, the rough edges on here, you could definitely take a scissors and trim, you know, fussy cut around the edges. But I like it, so I left it. And let's see, this one's really off. So we'll just trim these up a little bit. And there we go. So my thought is to turn these into little envelopes. So I found some papers. Now they, they don't have to be. They could be, um, they could be whatever you want them to be, really. But I was thinking about doing something like da -da -da -da. putting a thumb notch and then gluing the sides down. And I'm going to glue the sides down, but I also want to sew it. So I kind of was didn't I want to sew along the edges too, but I kind of left it just in case um See, that would be super cute. I'm sorry, my thoughts are kind of taken off with me. I kind of left it in case somebody wanted to, or I wanted to make these a different size. Like maybe I only wanted it, you know, this short. Maybe I need to trim it up to fit the project that I'm making. Um, I didn't want to sew on the edges because then I'd end up having to cut that off. So I kind of left it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here. You could use tape, because now it has acetate on it, so it's gonna be, it can be a little trickier to glue. 
can use tape though if you wanted to or whatever you like to use or your favorite glue this is not stock stopped up it's just not coming out yet come on there we go I'm just gonna go up the sides here like a pocket nice and gluey and I'm gonna actually leave a little border around it because I really love that paper in the back and I think it really adds something special and we're gonna pull those threads out what I'm gonna do I am gluing this but I'm gonna go back later and sew it so that we'll have all the edges I'm gonna do a zigzag all the way around I think that will be beautiful so we'll just try to trim this up around. It doesn't have to be perfect though. I love this paper. It's so pretty. I don't remember where it came from. There we go. And then we've got a little pocket. So now if we want to slip something in there, Thing with some structure because that other piece I picked up is not going to work. We can stick this in there, whatever it is we want to put in there, and there we go. So we've got a little pocket. Okay, so we we'll want to put something pretty in there. All right, so there's that. There's one. Um, another thing I wanted to do. But I keep looking at this thinking this would be really pretty is to just kind of rough this up, especially because this is kind of roughed up. I don't know that I would do this to all of them necessarily, but I'm, I'm seeing it for this one. Oops, I tore it. That's okay. Part of roughing it up, right? Gonna gently go on there. If you have one of those tools, even better. I don't have one. Something I don't have in my craft room. Can you believe it? I'm loving it for this one. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and distress these edges too. Just with the residual. how cute that is I love it I love it and then we'll sew also around it all right now next let's do another one I thought ooh, I could do see now here's one that I could do a smaller one this is one of those um, circumstances where I could cut it down to fit and I think I'm gonna do that because I don't want to waste this paper and in fact, I could actually make it this way so it goes sideways. We don't need to do a thumb tab. So we will, what we'll do is we'll go this way. Once again, I'm using scraps around the house, around my, off my craft room, and turning them into something fun and useful for future projects. Yep. Trying to use up that stuff that we've got. There we go. I'll probably need to add a little bit of glue to that, but if I sew it, I won't need to really, I don't have to. I'll just trim that up right there. It looks like this side's hanging over just a little bit too. Oh, 
this might not even be straight. I can't tell, but if I cut it, I'll be sorry probably. So I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. There, that's a little better, I think. There we go, so there's another one and I'll do some sewing around this way. Isn't that cute? Actually, I'll probably go around the whole square. So we've got two done. Let's go ahead and ink this one too. Let's keep it consistent. Because if these go on the same page in the journal, in a journal, we want them to be the same as right? Oh no, I'm seeing some plastic sticking out. I'm gonna have to trim that too. There's a little bit of plastic sticking out right there. So we're gonna have to trim that up. That will never do. Some things I can live with and not that. There we go. Got it. Isn't that cute? And then I didn't do the stressing on this one. I'm gonna kinda go around this one just to add a little color as if I had <laughs> done it right. Or done it the same way at least. There we go. Beautiful. All right, those will go on the same. Since we distressed that one with the scissors, we're gonna have to do it with this one again. Consistency, right? Should have done that. knock that back a little bit. I just want to do it to the green part though. I didn't do it to the pink on the other one. I just want to do it on the green. There, and I'll go back around and get those white edges. Perfect. Love it. Love it. All right, one more. I've got one more pink. Sure, I like that. I pulled this one because I wasn't too sure, but I don't think I like it. That one's too boring. I think this one's too bright, and yeah, that's the wrong color scheme. I've got teacups here, maybe teacups. What do you think about teacups? Maybe, but it's like it's not quite. Nope, 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 nope. Um, grab any other pink? I didn't. What about something like this? That's kind of boring too, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I pulled anything I want to use for this one. So we'll set that one aside. I'll do that one later. Okay, but I do have these and I love this one behind here. We're gonna do this one. I think I'm just gonna do it kind of the same way as that first one. We'll take a notch out of the top. I should say side because the picture actually goes this way, but I don't know if anybody would really notice that if it was in a journal. these strings off because they won't they won't be helpful in the back these scissors are tricky for me today for some reason All right. wondering if I need to put some glue between the acetate and the paper. Let's hold it down better. Oops. Sorry, I was looking at my um, phone screen and <laughs> slipped. I think Chloe just sent me a video that I can show you guys of the puppy playing. Oh my gosh. She um, was blowing leaves in the backyard and he kept running into the wind and his little ears were just going everywhere. He looked like a supermodel. <laughs> so funny. He loves the leaf blower. He loved the wind. 
it was the craziest thing. I've never seen anything like it. You know, most dogs would be scared of the noise and kind of stay away, but not this one. He wasn't scared of it. He's going to be so much fun. Let's put some more glue in there. It's not really sticking too good, so let's put a little extra. It will stick. I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to scrape up the edges like I did with the other one, but I'm going to go ahead and distress it a little bit. Just a little. cute that is. Isn't that fun? These are just from scraps, you guys. Just from scraps. These little windows are just from scraps. Hey, I could do I can do pink and blue. That would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? Nah, I don't like that. That might have been nice. What about on this one? Ooh, I like those colors together. That's pretty. Right? We could do that. Let's do that. We're going to punch the hole in this one. Not a hole, but you know what I mean. I'm going to go under that, under that acetate as well. This paper is scrap of paper, so it's not going to be as sturdy as the others. So this one will actually probably have to go um, glued to a page just for strength because it's not going to be very strong. Or potentially, even better, I could make... Now here's an idea. Here's another idea, you guys. This just came to me. Why not turn the pocket into another pocket? We'll fold it there. And then it wouldn't have to be necessarily. We'll just glue these two sides. So we just turned another pocket into another pocket, to another pocket. <laughs> now it could be used like a flip or something like that because now we have this pocket, but we also have this pocket. So there we go, there's another. I would put another notch in here, but at the same time as I would like to be able to do that, if I changed my mind and that is cut already, then it's cut already. So that won't work. Now I could still, I didn't think about that, but I could still, I can still sew on the edges of this and it'll help hold it shut as well. So that's still an opportunity or I could just leave it just glued. That would be fine too. So we are distressing them all, aren't we? Just a little, just a little. Especially with that white on the bottom. I should have probably just cut that cut that down a little bit. But here we are. Super cute. Love it. Love it. I hope you guys will get um, some ideas and do, do some of, as well. Now we could also, you know, once they're in a, a book, we could put labels on them. We could do, I mean, we could decorate these up for days. I mean... No reason we couldn't. All right, let's do another one. I got this paper would be cute. What about this one? I really like this one too. This would be pretty. Be really pretty. Should make another envelope like I did the last one. Be kind of fun, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so, I don't know what to think. 
Um, we've got a couple people out at work with, with the C word. And I am just hoping that we don't get sick again. Already been there, done that this year. I don't want to do it again. But we've got people out and I've worked closely with them and I'm a little bummed. <laughs> of course, it's not their fault. They didn't know. They didn't know they were sick when they came in. So just kind of snuck up on them. Which is about the way it works, isn't it? So I'm a little concerned, but hopefully they'll be back to work soon and hopefully it'll skip me and my family because we don't need that right now. Not that anybody does. That's cute. I like it. We will go ahead and glue this back down again. Hi, Gretchen. Gretchen got a new sweater today. She's begrudgingly wearing it. <laughs> she doesn't mind her sweater until she goes to sleep, and, and then she really wants out of it. She just doesn't want to keep it on. I don't think she realizes it helps keep her warm. thing got her confined but yeah we got um oh I would think I was talking about it in the video earlier before I took a break um she was she and the puppy doobie have uh new are getting matching sweaters but Chloe or Chloe's Gretchen's arrived this afternoon so we're just waiting for doobie so I'll have to definitely post a picture of them both in their matching sweaters once they once they're here to get a picture together. It's so cute. They're super soft too. Oops. So Doobie is learning the word leave it today. So you may hear that in the background right now. And he's he's picking it up. He's figuring it out. So these turned out pretty cute, I think. I hope you guys like them. Um, like I said, you know, you it doesn't have you don't have to use the same the same cutout. This is just an idea for those pieces that get left behind when you're making projects with your die cuts. Just an idea. You know, what do you do with them? throw away all that paper sometimes it's kind of cool to make something out of it you know so this was just an idea I'm kind of glad I did I've got about 15 more of these pieces <laughs> maybe more actually I made two advent calendars some of it some of it I had to throw away because I got the was able to get the pieces close enough there wasn't really much left but some of them I probably I might have 20 of them total I don't know for sure quite a few so I can keep making these for a while and have plenty so it'll be good to have them for my um, my stash already made put aside so you'll be seeing these again believe me in some project, you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And I'm going to go sew these shut and finish them off and come show you the finished project. And then how we can use them. All right, so stay tuned. Hang on. All right, you guys, here we go. So we have these little pockets. I ran out of thread underneath, but it's so it's got holes in it. But I thought, you know what? I like it. Leave it alone. So they're all sewn around. Each one of them. And except for, of course, the pockets. I did not sew those, so they'll be open on the top. And that is one pocket. I can't remember. Yep. 
So we made those. And I kind of like the fact that these are pockets in the back too. I'll probably be leaving that. I mean, it's a small little pocket. There's not a lot that's going to be able to go back there, but it's something. And then I can probably, if I need this smaller, I can trim this side off. I'm going to leave it for now just in case. But I thought this would be a really fun addition. And since I started that little tiny journal, let's, uh, let's use one. Let's use one on one of these pages and uh, see what we can do. Now, oops, we can, um, let's put some of this here. You know what, look, well, this is, isn't really tag, big enough for a tag. Some of these kind of are, but the papers are so different. I don't know, I don't know if there's any that I could put in these, but you can kind of get the idea. When you put this in there, you're gonna see, you know, whatever. I kind of like that, actually. We'll just put a little tab on there. Maybe not this one, though. Let's see what else we've got. Or maybe we'll make one specifically for this. Let's do that instead. I think I have more of that paper. I think there was a piece left. Um, so I think one of these might be really nice in here. At least one. If I can find, ooh, or that maybe. Could put this on a little, might be a little bit too wide for that one, but not for this one. Something like that maybe. Where'd that piece of paper go? So I think I had just a smidge of it left. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see here. Did I toss it somewhere? Probably. Maybe I just didn't have any left. I don't know. Maybe I just used it. Oh, you know what? I think I used it up. I don't know, you guys. Did I? Didn't I? I don't know. But this is where we're at. So we could do, we could do something like that. I could also trim this and put it on, see because it's so narrow, barely fits, I could mat it on, um, I was thinking craft paper, or maybe one of these, yes. Let's do that, let's cut this so it fits in there. It's gonna need to be about two and a quarter inches wide. Let's do that. We're gonna create, I'm gonna create a tag. Two, where did I say two and a quarter? And I'm gonna trim this right around the edges of that corner. I know, I know. It kills me to cut all things Tim Holtz. Make sure this fits. Put it in there fine. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go a little bit thinner, a little bit more narrow. That's fine. We're gonna make it work. Let's try that. Let's see if I might need another another sliver up of there. Oh, you know what I think it's doing? I think it's catching on my acetate, you guys. I don't think it's too narrow. I think it's just catching. So I might need to glue that down a little better. So hmm. I don't know what to do about that. See, it's catching on that little lip of acetate. I think, though, that I could add some glue up inside of there to glue that down. And I think I won't have a problem so much, but I think that's what's happening right there. So maybe it's really, you know, even though I said it, you don't have to glue your acetate, maybe you should, so you don't have it catching. I don't think that went under the acetate at all. 
maybe. I'm gonna hold this now. Actually, I'm gonna just put my scissors in here while it, while it dries. Um, I'm gonna kinda do this. Turn those corners. This is just one of my coffee tea dyed index cards that I made. That's better. All right, now let's see if let's stick it this way. Right about there. Let's hold it on there. And I'm gonna mark this paper because I don't want to lose that spot. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this paper right right there. Just a little tiny mark so I know where to glue it back. I don't think I need to distress this piece too much because it's already pretty distressed. Right there. And this is gonna go here. Just like that. Isn't that cute? I love this idea. This turned out so nice. Then I'm gonna glue this to the back somewhere, but it's gonna need to be, I actually really like it there. Um, I might come back to that page. I might just put it here. Maybe that's a good spot right there. Maybe we could Keep this as a journaling spot and just make a flip out of it. No, I don't think so. I think it's going to be glued down. That blends too much. That takes from that page. Maybe right here would this be a good spot? I think I'm going to put it on that original page. I think so. I think that's where I like it the most. Maybe we could put it on one of these German pages. This is, there's a pocket there. I think I'm gonna put it right back in the front, right where it was, right here. And I think I'm just gonna glue it there. Yep, that's where it's gonna go, right there. What do you think about that? I think I like it. Now this journal may have another, probably will have another signature. I um, need to go back through and find some more papers, but I think it's gonna need another signature. Knowing that, I'm not necessarily putting this on the front page, I'm just putting this on this page because I like the way it looks. So I'm just gluing it on there. I may need to use some hot glue because the stitching is not gonna, it may not grab right. Let's pull this out for a second. But there's a little fun little project we can put into our journals. And we're gonna have a nice little marker there. Come on, glue down all the way down. Make sure I've got enough glue in there. Do I, do I? I really like this. It's fun to make too. All right, and then what we can do, we can put that back in there. If we want to decorate it, we could add some little tags, some numbers. We could, some of these have pink on them. 
maybe put something like that or something like that would be fun I kind of like that we could put that there I feel like it does definitely need something there um I kind of liked this here because of the pink we're gonna do that We could put, you know, you can use die cuts, maybe put a butterfly on there, something like that. You get to decide. You can create however you like. Whatever makes you happy. Because it's your craft. And I know it's going to be beautiful. There we go. How fun is that? Now I may or may not use that second pocket in here. I'm not sure yet. Um, obviously I've got a lot to do in this little journal since I just started it, but we're off to a good start. And I think that was a fun addition. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you like this project. I sure had a lot of fun making these. I hope I inspire you to make some or make, you know, just to make even. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thanks again for joining me. I love you all, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.